In this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction to how you actually produce a flipped video lesson using edX Edge. So you'd go to edge.edx.org as before, and you will see all the courses that have been created. This is the student view. And you can view a course. As you'll see when you watch this, you have the courseware tab with a whole series of lessons each of which consists of videos interspersed with questions. Now to edit it, you can either click on View Unit in Studio, or you can go straight to studio.edge.edx.org, which is the authoring environment. Let's just go here, View Unit in Studio. You'll see exactly the same thing either way around. Now if you just go to Studio, Studio Home, Now you probably won't have this button. To get this button to create a new course, you have to have new course authorship permission, and that's something that edX has to give you, and they only do so at the request of Richard Robinson at ANU Central, and he is very reluctant to give that very often because he doesn't support this. You may need to get someone else, like one of us, to give you a course, which you can then edit and be made author of and so on and add other people to. So anyone can get an account on Edge, but to actually author new courses, you'll need to get permission from ANU Central, and that is a pain. But anyway, you can then go into the course. And then let's say we want to do something here. Implementation example 2, Paul Francis. And we can create a unit. or whatever we like, and then we can add a video. So it comes up with the default of Anand Agarwal, the CEO of edX, but you come in here and give it a name like, and then you need to put the YouTube video. So let's find one of our YouTube videos. Start off with this one. Show more, share, and that gives us the URL. Copy, go in here and paste. And that's done. You may now want to add a new unit, which will be a question. And we can do a discussion or something like that, but let's do a multiple choice question. So you put the question up here. A number of options, the X, you can put in curly brackets, answers, to feedback if students get the wrong answer. And then if you go to settings, you can give it a title. You can set the number of attempts the students have, how many marks it's worth, and various other parameters of that sort. And then you're done. When you're done, press publish, and it's visible. And down the bottom, looking for help with Studio, click on this, and it will give you a huge amount of documentation about how this whole thing works.